Here's the finished product of what we'll be creating in this Fireworks CS4 tutorial. It's nice Web 2.0 graphics for HD and HQ tubes. Uh, and you can see I made them for my channel. And you'll see them on my channel. And I made them really big so I can get the details I wanted. And then I shrunk them down, created bitmaps, and then shrunk them down and set them into the place I wanted them to be. And I noticed YouTube had uh, similar graphics such as these, so I wanted to incorporate, you know, kind of the same kind of feel and look that they were going for on my channel design. Okay. In this Fireworks CS4 tutorial, I'm inside of my YouTube channel raw PNG file for the uh, my background on my YouTube channel, and I noticed uh, YouTube's has some cool. Uh, HD little HD symbols little graphics and I want to try and recreate that for my channel and I thought I'd record it and show you the workflow some of you guys might get something out of it and uh, so what I'm gonna do is draw a rectangle and I'm gonna bring up the roundness a little so we have nice rounded corners and then I'm gonna bring out an ellipse because I want to create a sort of bulge top effect. On my rectangle. Let's see 207, 224, move this over one, make this 208. So both even numbers. Oh, that looks great. Okay, so C, Control C, Control V. That'll copy and paste that one. And you'll know when you're in the middle of an object with another object, usually when they line up. So that one's lined up there. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing to the sides. See if we can make this edge look smooth too. Beautiful. Control C, Control V. Perfect. Now there may be other easier ways to create bold edges effect on your uh, on your rectangles but I, I like doing it this way because I have direct control over how the edges look and how everything comes out and uh, let's see I have all five symbols I'm gonna go to modify with all five symbols selected combine paths and I'm going to union so it makes it one symbol or one path and uh, you select many items, that, multiple items, by holding down the control key, or the shift key, rather. So I can select that one, then that one, then that one. And uh, so now what I want to do is copy another version of this symbol right on top of itself. So highlight it, press control C, control V. Now I have a copy, and I'm going to make it white so I can see it real good there, or let's make it gray. Now I want to scale it. Go to the scale tool, the transform tool, and scale it. And make it about like that. Come down a little more. There we go. Now this one, let's see, YouTube's is black. So I'm going to kind of mimic that, and then I'll modify it to make it my own. Okay, so this one, let's see, we're going to punch this one out with a donut. So let's bring out a donut. I'm using a donut because I want that kind of specific arc on my cut here. So let's make this black. Now I can see exactly what I'm going to get. the opacity down 
that's just about right okay so now put it into place bring the opacity back up you highlight both symbols the one you want to crop and the one that's going to do the cropping when they're both highlighted you go to combine paths and punch so now I've actually here before I do that let me show you another little trick press control C control V with this gray symbol highlighted that way you have two copies of it now do now punch modify combine paths punch now with this one well with this one on top let's just turn it white so we can see it and with this one we're gonna turn it black but we're gonna go and give it a filter effect of inner shadow make sure it's white not too uh, thick maybe around two and adjust the angle to where it's coming on the bottom it's coming in on the bottom so you can see what kind of effect that gives us that's pretty nice this thing we're gonna give this a gradient of linear I'm gonna bring it over here and mimic the light effects that YouTube uses on their graphics on their logo and every almost everything they have let's see especially their web 2.0 graphics this one we're going to turn white and we're going to bring the opacity down but not all the way but almost all the way right about there and then let's see that looks good now all we gotta do is get our uh, text in there so yeah we'll put in our text and do some touching up now with the text let's put uh... just so everybody knows it's mine we'll put HD actually I'm gonna put HQ plus HD because my videos are all HQ and HD nowadays right in the center go to the text I want Let's turn it white so we can see it first then I'm gonna go to Franklin Gothic it's really similar to YouTube's text and now I'm going to size it the way I want it bring it up bring these closer together good let's see and eh, not so close bring the font size down okay so we got HD plus HQ actually no I'm just gonna make it say HQ and HD separately I'll make two of them spread these back apart a little bit Bring that up. So we'll make the first one say HD. Now I noticed they had a an effect on the text where it was text was uh, let's get it a little bigger. Maybe one ten. One eighteen. That's great okay so let's get first of all let's bring this layer this layer this object on top so you can press control shift up arrow key and that brings that object to the top so it looks like this is laid into the symbol and this is a lighting effect on top so now this we're gonna go to the fill options and instead of solid we're gonna make that gradient and you'll notice that YouTube uses that effect to give it depth and uh, actually in their gradient I think they had maybe it was something like bright in the center and then dark on both edges something like that 
So that's what it kind of looked like. Make that a little bigger. Maybe 124. Okay. That looks pretty good. So if I have that symbol and I want it a little smaller, I have all the elements here. Let's grab all of them. You can just drag over them if you want them all. And I'm going to group them. Press Control G. And now I'm going to copy it. Control C, Control V. I'm going to ungroup this one. I'm going to change this to a Q. Now I have HQ and HD. And uh, so let's grab all of these once more, group them. So now I have both of these are grouped. Now let's control C, control V, make copies. And now let's modify no filters, adjust color, brightness and contrast. It's going to say this operation will convert vectors to bitmaps, and that's exactly what I want because I don't want any distortions when I scale down. <coughs> and I'm not going to, I'm going to leave these at zero. Press OK. So now they're bitmaps. Now I can just scale them down and put them into the section <coughs> designated for them on my profile. Man, those look juicy, don't they? I pretty much nailed it. And now, uh, you know, they can't get me for directly copying their graphics because I made these. These are mine. I just used theirs as reference. But not that they would. I mean, I'm going to put these up here. Make these a little smaller. And that is that. And now you'll see these on my profile. Hooking it up. Hook it up fat like. There we go. HD and HQ. Let's bring it up a little bit. But that's pretty much it. Oops. That shows you how to make nice web 2.0 graphics similar to what you see around YouTube and other snazzy sites. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.